Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing somewhat of an alopecia weaving service, but can also be classified as a quick weave. So I already went ahead and shampooed my client just using a little bit of our hair repair and restore shampoo and conditioner. Now, because she already has her hair cut really, really short, I still did the shampoo process because you do want to start with a clean slate before you apply any of the protectants. The unique thing about this video is the protectant actually did not work for her. So we ended up having to do this process all over again, um, but in a different fashion. So I decided to do a different technique today and utilize the wrap strips um, along with the end papers to protect her entire head. What we found was because she perspires a lot, just like myself, she sat under the dryer and the actual protectant would not dry. So the papers wouldn't dry, the gel wouldn't dry, and I could not go and add the silicone base over that because that would create a breeding ground for nothing but bacteria. Remember, bacteria likes cold and dark places. It also likes warm and dark places as well. And I quickly found out that I had to kind of remove everything that I had did before um, at this step of the process and figure out another way to allow us to protect her hair. So I showed this process in the video because I wanted you guys to see that not every weaving service is going to be 100% perfect. And even though, you know, this method works for about 95% of my clients, she perspires a lot. So even while she was under the dryer, she was perspiring and it just did not work for her. So instead of us doing the end papers and the wrap strip, we actually just use the silicone base and a little bit of gel. And we use that as her level of protectant, which is absolutely fine. But being crystal, I always like to do multiple layers. So now you guys see her hair without the end papers um, because I had to end up taking them off while she was under the dryer. They were soaking wet. And I went back and just put the silicone protectant on her. So the shininess that you guys are seeing on her hair and scalp is the silicone protectant. So she does have protectant. She just does not have the end papers and the wrap strips on her hair. Now I am doing a shortcut style on her. Um, initially, when I had already started the mold process is when she was wanting to have the sides and the back out more. But because, um, and this is another reason why I say consultation is extremely important. We did consult, but we did not actually consult about having more of her hair left out. So I was under the presumption that I was supposed to cover up everything, which is another reason why I say as hairstylists, you need to consult, 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 just to make sure you're in the right direction. It's not always going to be um, a situation where, you know, you missed something. But in this case, um, we talked about it after the fact and it was a little too late for me to go through and remove the protectant and start the process over again. Nor did you want to go back under the dryer for another 20 minutes. So we just improvised and just dealt with it this way. Now, the hair that I'm using is the Purple Box. I think it's made by Otre or Sensational, um, but it's basically already kind of like a pre-curled hair. It's human and it's great for styles like this. Now, a little disclaimer, because I know someone is going to jump on and say, oh my gosh, you put the glue right on her hair. No, she has a level of protectant, which is a silicone protectant over her hair and scalp. So the adhesive will literally rinse right off along with the silicone in the shower. Nothing else is required. If she perspires a lot, it can even come right off. So that's another reason why for people who perspire a lot, um, I definitely like to ask that question before I do the weaving service. And even sometimes people will say, oh, you know, I perspire, but not that much. And then later on, we find out that it is definitely a perspiration problem. So we can't do the same thing that we'll do for all the other clients. Now, I just sped this part of the video up. Um, and as you guys can tell, one of the tracks just slipped off because she was sweating. <laughs> it was hot. And I deal with the same situation that she deals with. So I can 100% understand how she feels and what she's going through. All right. So her hair is nice and cut. Everything's all laid down. Now for the nape of the neck, I use the longer hairs just to kind of lay that area down and make it look 
um, as natural as possible. And then I'm using my H2 Pro 3 tenths of an inch iron to give her a curl. So this is going to kind of come out like a pixie, even though it is a full on weave. Now, I forgot to mention, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and also comment what you guys thought about the finished product. I like to tell you guys the epic fails that we have. I like to tell you guys the mistakes that are made because a lot of times people on YouTube like to put a lot of fluff into things and make things appear to be less than or more than what they really are. So this is going to definitely help someone who is out trying to do the same thing that I just did. And, you know, perspiration is a, a big part of this. So I wanted to just share my epic fails and my mistakes and my failures in all my videos so you guys can have a realistic view. So I ended up having to take the cape off because it was making her sweat even more. Um, it kind of worked out in our are good because I didn't have to add any product to the front of her hair. I was just able to mold her hair down. But at the same time, you know, my goal is to make sure that my client walks out happy, which she did. But, you know, going forward, we know what to do and what not to do for her. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Please don't forget to thumbs up this live. Bye.